what is up, loud and proud crowd. Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I'm here with my girlfriend, Reagan, today. Go subscribe to her channel if you haven't already, which is blowing up and getting a lot more views than mine. First gen again today. Not sure everything we're gonna get done, but I do know a few things that have to get done to be able to get, here we are, the twin turbo setup in the truck, twin turbo, compound turbo, I guess it's considered more of a compound turbo. Yeah, that whole kit's gotta go in there, so we gotta make a few more adjustments to make sure that that fits in properly, which means we're gonna have to get rid of our transmission heat exchanger and relocate that. But at least I have an idea of how I wanna relocate it based on how Nasty Reds was done. Um, although I'll probably just have the transmission shop do that um, professionally the way that they did Nasty Reds because they're gonna have it to do the transmission work anyways. Um, and in the meantime, until the transmission works done, we're not gonna be, you know, horsed on this thing too much. Really quick, before we get into this video, gonna make this really short and sweet. We are doing a 2018 Longhorn Ram 3500 Cummins giveaway. Yes, truck is a mega cab, four wheel drive, loaded out, brand new pickup, or you have the option of picking that 1991 five speed four wheel drive, fully intercooled, rust free, first gen, if you prefer the old school 12 valves over the brand new trucks. Every $15 you spend on team-lmp.myshopify.com is another entry to win. Ends in just 15 days and this giveaway is over and done. That's two weeks and the giveaway is over. So if you want a chance to win, grab something while inventory lasts. There will be a little bit of information down in the top of the description. Definitely go read it through. Go enter the giveaway while you can and have your shot at winning this truck or that one, your pick. Don't miss out, information down below. We've got some machined rocker arm pedestals. We've got some valve cover gaskets. We've got some paint. We've got our compound turbo kit, which by the way, um, I was out here with my girlfriend the other day and we were getting some work done. And basically what we did is ripping out the transmission heat exchanger from the side of the engine block because, well, we just, we're just not gonna be able to have it in there with the compound turbo setup that we're gonna go with. So um, we've got our S475 turbo right here. And we're gonna be running that turbo in our stock turbo. So that's the setup that we decided to go with on this truck. Um, and basically it's good for stock horsepower, which is about 150 to 160, all the way up to about 600 horsepower. So um, it's gonna be fine, no matter the power level, basically from stock to whatever it makes. Um, up until we get to pushing about 600 if we do all of the fuel mods to be able to get to that at some point which would involve P pumping and a, a handful of other, other things. The only thing that I don't know is how much different this H1C turbo is going to be um, compared to the second gens in terms of mounting up and stuff like that and making sure that it, it mounts up properly and okay um, because that, that I really just I really do not know um, what the main differences are and how it may or may not line up. So we're going to just keep going and moving along here. Um, if we come to a point where we need to order a different part, we'll do that and get it overnighted. Um, but for today, we're just gonna keep moving along and seeing what we can get done in the next couple of hours before I wrap things up again for the day. Probably gonna start by ripping the valve covers off because I wanna start to get this painted. I'm gonna do them silver, and then once they're dried and cured, I'm gonna paint them an iodized blue color. Let me show you the paint color that we went with here. This is the color we're gonna go with on the valve covers, and then I also got matching blue valve cover gaskets. So now, I mean, blue in the engine bay, I don't know, whatever. Um, it was I was going back and forth whether or not I should do it, and it, it's not the same blue as that, but I'm like, whatever, it's gonna, it's gonna look goofy, it's gonna look silly, but it's, it's gonna be a little bit cool at the same time. It's really cool. got the valve covers painted with two coats now of silver and once those dry and cure I'm going to start to apply the iodized blue paint. We did get the um, heat ex transmission heat exchanger bracket off of the side of the block so now that is all wide open and ready to go down in there. Now the manifold that we're running on this is, I'm not even sure what the brand is, it just came with the kit and the kit was from CPP Diesel by the way. C, uh, DPS, whatever that means, DPS, it's already pre-tapped for your um, gauges and stuff like that, which is which is really nice to have 
um, just saves you a little bit more time and hassle. Start piecing some of this compound turbo kit together. I'm not sure how much we're going to be getting installed, but I have about a half hour, so I'm gonna take a half hour until I want to, you know, wrap up what I'm doing for the day. So I'm gonna take the next half hour to try to start piecing together some of this kit, at least get the manifold, like get everything cleaned down around where the manifold's gonna mount up, put the manifold on, then maybe start to piece together the compound turbo kit just a little bit until, you know, I run out of time and then I gotta wrap up stuff. Let's get to throwing some stuff together. <laughs> Well, so much for doing any more of the compound turbo kit. All I got done was the manifold install. Not everything's torqued down to spec. I just got all of them so they are snug, except for the top two back here for this bracket. I just threaded those bolts in like two turns so that um, the uh, manifold gaskets were lined up at least. And then I took that microfiber towel and laid it over the top just to make sure that no dust and dirt and you know parts and stuff got dropped down into any of the, you know, just into the stuff around the push rod area and stuff like that so there's nothing like falling in there. Three, you come out here every time and you think, oh, we're gonna get all kinds of crap done. And then you realize you've got other stuff to do today so you just try to give yourself a time limit. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget you entered to win the 2018 Longhorn or if you don't like this truck, which I, you know, you would think it's crazy how crazy how who doesn't like that truck, but you'd be surprised. There's a lot of people that, uh, Maybe they just they just don't want they just don't want a brand new truck and they want something that's just classic. And uh, I must say, honestly, this truck is hard to beat, man. It's a '91. You're like, dude, it's you know how 20 some years old, almost 30 years old. Like, who would want that over the 2018? But man, this truck in its current state, it would bring a pretty pretty penny. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a clean truck. Look how clean the frame is. There's a little bit of surface rust in spots but it's really, really clean overall. The factory factory frame paint and coating is still just chipping away, but um, it's in really good shape. You know what I mean? Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful truck. But uh, this truck is not gonna lose its value, that's the thing, is this, this truck ain't going nowhere in value. It's just gonna hold it and go up because uh, a truck in this condition is getting really, really tough to find. This one's got the red interior. Like I said, it's a red interior. It's the five speed beautiful truck engine was just pulled out and all redone fully intercooled now information down in the description below if you want to enter to win this truck thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below thank you guys so much subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and i'll catch you in the next video peace